This is me, Saif, a documentary photographer, and this is my story. I grew up in the 90s in Sawira, a tiny city in southern Morocco. My dad had a hardware store where I used to work with him in the summer, and my mom took care of us and was very strict about our education. Like many kids who grew up in the 90s, we didn't have internet and phones, so we used to play soccer in the street and other games around the neighborhood. In my childhood, we didn't have access to culture like museums or libraries, so I spent this part of my life dreaming, observing people, and learning how to connect with them. In 2006, after finishing high school, I moved to France, where I lived for more than 10 years. In France, I explored Europe, art, and museums. While I studied computer science, then civil engineering, and worked as project manager. But during all this time, I was tired of the system I was in, and totally lost. So one day, I left my job, bought a camera, and started traveling around the globe. And what was supposed to be a six-month trip became two years. After two years traveling, I came up with the conclusion that I wanted to connect with more human beings, tell their impactful stories, and inspire the change around me. That's how I became a photographer. But the hardest thing was to make money for my photography, so I printed some of my pictures, framed them, and sold them in the street. But it wasn't enough to pay the bills. So I watched this video. What dream or vision do you want to turn into reality? Boom! Immediately it will tell you. Believe it. Act on it. Come up with a plan and started executing it. I borrowed some money and bought this camera. I did the first story and it wasn't good. Then I produced the second one and it wasn't enough. In the following years, I started immersing myself with my subject and I found my way of telling stories. I worked on a story about young sub-Saharan Africans who are trying to reach Europe and spent more than three years following their journey from Mali to Spain. Then I did a story about enclaved villages in the high Atlas Mountains in Morocco and tried to understand their story and how they manage the impact of climate change on their daily life. Then I worked on another story about the last nomads in the Zag region and understood how the last decades of history and globalization have changed their way of living. I also went to Mauritania and started a new story about men and women from the Haratins caste who are still suffering from traditional slavery and its consequences. But still, I didn't understand how it was possible in 2020 without any opposition from the international scene. And last year, I went to Rwanda and made a story about Rwanda New to understand how they manage their trauma, the coexistence and the building of a future after the 94 genocide against the Tutsi. In the middle of all this, I sent a lot of emails, showed my work to a lot of people, but didn't always get answers. I was torn between my desire to continue telling these stories and the challenges they were putting me back. Then I remembered this. For me, Photography is not an end in itself, just the right medium to reach my desire to connect with people and bring a change. And ultimately, it's helping me as a person grow and understand a little bit more the world I live in. The margin for error is so small, I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break in the game.